In this video, I'm going to show how to load uh, silicones into a cartridge for injection molding. Now, the silicones come in these uh, large containers, small containers, um, and we need to get them into this cartridge uh, to put them into the injection molder. Now, these cartridges come from Nordson EFD. They're 750 milliliters per side, so a total of 1,500 milliliters. And um, this type of cartridge comes pre-capped. So there's already an injection molded cap on it, a uh, single piece, so you don't have to plug these before filling it. it. Makes it very convenient. And then you can reuse this cap afterwards by plugging it in the hole once you rip it off. And there's a, a circle and a square to help you align um, part A and part B. Um, so to get started, we just need to hold this guy uh, properly. And you don't want to fill it like this because it'll fall over. Um, so we have these little holders that uh, we made that uh, we have on Thingiverse if you need to use them. Uh, basically holds the cartridge. I highly recommend labeling uh, the uh, different sides, part A and part B, so you know uh, which side you're pouring in. I also recommend putting the lot date of the silicone material and the date that you're filling it so that you use the most fresh silicone possible for this process. Um, so the first step is figuring out how high to actually uh, fill the cartridge, and we want both sides to be fairly even. Although um, you can have a little bit of a differential in there and the first time you inject with this cartridge, don't put a mixing nozzle on it and it'll even out um, over time. So first thing I'm gonna do is just mark um, two lengths of this piston that I'm holding, which will get capped on the end. So there's one and then I'm gonna go down one more and that's the height at which I'm gonna fill the cartridge. Um, so same on this side. You don't wanna fill it to the top because the piston doesn't have a lot of guidance up there if you were to fill it to the very top. Um, so leave a little bit of room. So that's the height at which I'm going to mark, or which, which I'm going to fill um, the sides. So I'm going to fill part A on the left here first. I want to block the other side in case uh, silicone gets uh, poured into it um, and not have those mix. So uh, then I'm just going to simply uh, pour the silicone in. And you might want to use a funnel. Um, if you don't do this a lot. I'm just, they're somewhat translucent, so I'm looking through the side until the material is at the right height. Great. Okay. Clean off the bin a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to move this over to the other side, or B. Now I have A and B uh, poured in there. Now you want to make sure you degas this as much as you can before you put the pistons on it. So the next step is going over to the vacuum chamber, loading this in there and ramping up the pressure, uh, or ramping, I should say, down the pressure until all the air bubbles are gone. So we're going to go over there. So turning on the vacuum chamber um, until we get these bubbles um, coming up. And you can see the uh, bubbles here rising and rising. We don't want it to overflow, so I'm turning the vacuum chamber off. And if it gets too high, I'll release pressure. Like in this case, a little too high. So I'm reducing the pressure. I'm just gonna monitor it for 
a little bit. The uh, last step, once you've degassed it fully, there should be no bubbles that you see, um, is to put these pistons on top. Um, these pistons, there's two types. One that you need to put basically a shim in the side while you push it down to allow the air to escape. These ones have these white, uh, or I think they're known as vented, um, and they have a little way for the uh, air to escape from the piston. Um, so the white part stays uh, removed uh, or popped up as they come from the manufacturer. Sometimes they get pushed down. Um, we're going to push it all the way in until we see a little bit of silicone uh, pop around the white area. Um, and then once that happens, we won't push it anymore and we'll push the white piece in by itself. Um, you can do this on the actual injection molding station, um, but that's a little more tricky. So for this, we'll just demonstrate doing it by hand. I'm using a uh, socket wrench just to clear the white part because I don't want to push down on the white part until the end. So it just is going to clear it as I push. Uh, so we're just putting the piston in. Um, I can push it down by hand until it kind of gets seated in there a little bit. I'm going to do the other one just to start it. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to take my socket wrench and uh, put downwards pressure on it. All right. I'll do the other one. I might have to adjust a little bit more once, once it hits. Okay, both are in there. Uh, I'm going to wait until I see a little bit of silicone coming around, which I don't, so I'm going to push a little bit more. Okay, now on this one I see silicone coming around the side, uh, which is great. I'm just going to take the other end of the socket wrench and push the white piece down into place. Uh, and there will be a little bit of silicone around it, but that's okay. I'm going to do the same with the other one, and I already see the silicone. Okay, so both cartridges are um, done, complete, and you can store this uh, in any orientation you like. Uh, it will not leak out. So that's how you fill one of these cartridges.